Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Jeep vehicle, especially guys, okay, we're talking about one with a four cylinder engine, but with, if you have a V6, V8, the same thing will apply to them as well, guys. Uh, and you guys start your Jeep and you have white smoke coming out of the exhaust. We'll explain, guys, what causes that. Now, if the white smoke, guys, is gone after, let's say, 5-10 minutes of running your engine, after the engine warms up and the smoke is gone, that's a good sign. If, guys, the smoke is persistent, okay, it still stays there after 10 minutes, what could be that? Stay with us, we'll explain all that today, guys. And you hope that's not, uh, that's not what's happening with your engine, because it will require quite a bit of work. So we have that 2.4 engine that's been used in multiple Jeep vehicles, so we can demonstrate on it. But V6, V8 will be uh, also, guys, uh, that way, and there will be one minor difference, so uh, make sure you stay until the end, so if you have that. Now, especially, guys, on cold days, if you start your car, you may notice, like, a white smoke vapor coming out of the exhaust. This is, guys, perfectly normal. Why? Because you guys have condensation in your exhaust. That condensation, guys, it's kind of like water in the exhaust and when you guys uh, start the engine, the engine will push hot air through the exhaust and that condensation, guys, will start evaporating and it will look like uh, white smoke. But if it uh, disappears after 5-10 minutes, you don't need to worry about that. What is uh, concerning, guys, if it's smoking all the time, white smoke, guys. So, now, that most likely, guys, means like 95% of the time that you have a coolant, internal coolant leak in your engine. And we'll explain how to, how to check that. First, when you start the car, guys, and you notice that white smoke coming out of the exhaust, just go behind the car, do not smell it directly, but smell the exhaust from distance. And if it has that Swedish odor, okay, taste, this is, guys, coolant burning. Coolant always has Swedish taste when it's burning. So, what that, uh, what causes that internal coolant leak, guys? Now, we'll demonstrate on the four cylinder. If you have a V6, V8, guys, okay, we're going to explain where things may differ a little bit, and we have another V8 there so we can demonstrate on. So, internal, guys, coolant leak could be caused by a cracked cylinder head. Okay, this is the cylinder head, guys, okay, right here. You can see cylinder head right here. Could be a cracked head. Uh, what will happen, you can see you have the coolant passages right here that cool the whole head and as a result guys, if the head is cracked somewhere, uh, that coolant will start seeping in the cylinder and it will be pushed, uh, pushed out of the engine through the exhaust, okay, and through the exhaust valves and go to the exhaust and that coolant will start uh, producing white smoke. Also guys, you have some coolant, coolant loss as well. Reason number two guys, it could be a cracked engine block. Now check this thing out. This is, guys, your engine block right here. This is your coolant passages you can see around the cylinder. So, uh, if you guys have a cracked uh, cylinder, cylinder engine block, guys, that coolant can make its way in the cylinder again and has the same symptoms. But the most common one, guys, okay, it's a bad, faulty head gasket. As you can see, the head gasket is the one that isolates, okay, compression. Com okay, let me flip it to where it's supposed to stay here. Okay, I think like that. Perfect. Uh, it uh, keeps the compression in the cylinder and the head only. It keeps coolant in certain places. That way, they do not, the coolant doesn't go in the combustion chamber. Okay, you can see. And also prevents coolant and oil from mixing each other. So, head gasket is super important component now, guys. So, what can cause, guys, that white smoke? Okay, cracked cylinder head. Cylinder head that's not even, that was overheated. They call it a wrapped head because it will not be perfectly smooth on the bottom. It might have a higher or lower spot. And uh, without special tools uh, getting it on stand, it's practically impossible to, uh, to check this thing out. Cracked engine block or a faulty head gasket now, guys. Those are the reasons. If you guys have a V8 or V6 engine, usually you will have uh, upper lower intake manifold sometimes where coolant will go through and you might have a gasket for the upper and lower intake manifold that where it can start seeping coolant in the intake as well. So that could be guys another reason on V6 or V8. So hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching. Please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.